हाय गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली फाइन आशा करता हूं आप सभी लोग ठीक हो सो गाइस इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एमबीए इन कनाडा वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर जस्ट आज मी दैट प्लीज मेक अ वीडियो ऑन एमबीए गिविंग फुल डिटेल्स अबाउट इट लाइक व्हाट वुड बी द फी स्ट्रक्चर एंड व्हाट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द प्रोग्राम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट ओनली सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो गाइस आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम यू If you have any suggestion for my video, so please freely give it in the comment section, or you can DM in DM me on my Insta ID. So let's start the video. So guys, let's start with the cost. Like, what is the fees of MBA in Canada? so before knowing before going on the fees we i need to tell you like mba is a two years program in which you will have four semester so it depends on you like how you are going to pay your fees you can either pay it semester wise or you can pay it yearly like first two semester are considered as first year and other two are considered as the second year and it, it totally depends on you how you want to pay your fees but i am going to tell you about the semester wise so the fees is approximately 16000 canadian dollars to 80000 canadian dollars per semester if i calculate it in the indian currency it would be approximately 12 lakh or 12 lakh to 60 lakh yeah approximately somewhere over there only so that you need to pay for one semester just multiply it by 4 so you will get your uh, like your total fee or uh, if you go for the cheapest one you would like to pay at least 48 lakhs for mba in canada that's a pretty huge amount but you don't have to worry about that also because there are plenty of scholarship offered by the universities and college and if you are the lucky one you can get that scholarship and trust me guys your fees can go like so significantly down that it can be free also for you the, but for that you need to be your profile should be worthy worthy enough that you should get that scholarship So guys moving forward coming on some basic requirements that you need to fulfill if you want to study MBA in Canada uh, the number one is language test and the world well accepted language test is IELTS so you need to at least have seven bands in each module if you want admission in any of the colleges or university it depends on college and university that what are their minimum criteria but you need to at least have seven in each module nothing below than that so guys coming on the second one the second one is your gmat or gie score they both are a kind of admission test that you need to give in order to get admission in some of the master courses in canada so most of the university accept gmat but some of them also accept gre it depends on universities to university and colleges so in whatsoever college you are going just please check it that whether they are accepting gmat or gre and on basis of that you give your test and also the score the minimum criteria is dependent on the college and university what they are accepting so guys coming on number 3 so number 3 is your work experience once you complete your bachelors like if say your bba or ba in anything once you complete your bachelors you need to have at least 2 years of work experience if you want to pursue mba and it is because that they want to know that the knowledge you gain in your bachelor degree you have utilized it and you have some kind of practical knowledge and some of the idea about market and uh, the organizations how they work so that's why they want that you should at least have 2 years of work experience and moreover i should i want to give you a tip also like the job which you are going to do the experience which you are gaining in that 2 year period it should be aligning your uh, field which you are going to choose in mba like in mba you need to choose some kind of specialization like hr finance or operations so you need to uh, the job you are going to do it should align your field also just for example you are going to do mba in finance so you should have your experience in some kind of accounting stuff uh, back in where you are working so this will help your profile and it will strengthen your profile way ahead from other students So guys once you are done with your GMAT or GRE your IELTS and your work experience and you are completely ready to apply for MBA in Canada then there are some more additional documents that you need to put while you are applying to for any of the college or university so number 1 is SOP 
it is a kind of essay in which you need to write um, write university that why you are pursuing mba from this particular university and what are your future goals and moreover you also need to put your bachelor's degree and your transcript and moreover you should also have an aggregate of 75% per in your bachelor's so that you can get offer letter <laughs> So guys, these were some basic requirements that you need to fulfill in order to get do MBA in Canada. And now coming on the average salary that you can expect that after completing MBA in Canada. So it is around fifty thousand Canadian dollars to one lakh fifty thousand Canadian dollars per annum, and it depends on person to person like what is your profile, how worthy enough you are, and according to that only you will get paid. So it all depends on you. The hard you work, the more you get paid. So, guys, now coming on the top universities that you can choose to pursue MBA in Canada. So, number one is University of Toronto, and you can also choose York University, University of Alberta, University of British Columbia, or McGill University. They are some of the top ranking universities in Canada. So, if you want, you can go in there, but. they will be little bit expensive so if if you can afford it you can go in that one so guys this was the video for mba in canada hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any question regarding to mba or any other courses comment freely in the comment section or you can dm me on my insta id i will love to reply you guys so take care bye bye see you next week